let the murder mystery begin. Alright, so I just barely finished binging 13 Reasons Why, and normally on this channel I like to talk about movies, but I think I've had not a lot about TV shows because I'm usually not a huge binger, but there are some shows that I do like to talk about, and 13 Reasons Why is one of them. So let's go ahead and start talking about season 3. Now, I thought the first season of 13 Reasons Why was a solid season. I enjoyed some of the parts. It does get heavy handed towards the end of season 1, and so does the end of season 2, and that's why I hate the second season more than I do with the first one because in the second season there's a lot of build up and I think what they did with uh, Hannah's trial case takes so much time that it doesn't move on really quickly and so now we find out that somebody killed Bryce Walker and there's this new girl who was introduced at the beginning of the season that goes by the name of Ani played by Grace Safe she did a really good job and this season focuses on her it begins with her and it ends with her she's basically narrating throughout the whole season what's going on what happened in the events the end of season two and the time that bryce walker was killed and so while we do focus on her narrating everything that's been going on what she knows about everybody and how she obtains this information we do find out a little bit about her especially the fact that her mom got a job working for Bryce's mom and so they begin this relationship kind of and so now everybody is a suspect and who killed Bryce Walker. Now when I started the season I wasn't going to be expecting a lot because I really hated season 2 and I was just about ready to give up on season 3 and uh especially after the first episode because the narration in this show in this season does get a little heavy-handed and i don't mind narration i do think that sometimes it does serve the story a little bit but when you have it every single episode it does start to wear off a little bit and especially when beginning of the season she's talking to somebody and she's basically telling them everything she knows about the students about Clay, Jessica, Justin, Alex, Monty, Tyler, and she basically just explains what how she got to know them and we go through this season, we find out a little bit more about the relationship between her and Clay and, and Ani. We also get some relationship to problems with Justin and Jessica and we see how after the event of season two, smile spoiler for the end of season two, at the end of season two, after Monty assaults Tyler in the bathroom, Tyler is about to go off in a shooting spree and at the high school dance, and Clay stops him before anything else happens. And so at the beginning of season three, we see what happens at the end of season two. We get to see what happens after Clay stops Tyler and after the cops come. And we see what hap how Tyler deals with everything that he's been through with the assault with almost uh shooting up the school dance and we see how he grieves how he moves on while this murder mystery is going on after somebody finds bryce then now there are some positives in this season because i do think that there are some some things in this in this season that are solid and there are some things that i have issues with uh for starters i without spoiling anything um, I think the way that they handled the characters in this season is a little bit better than what they did with them in the last season. I do think that there are some dialogue in here that is both borderline cringy and borderline solid, so you get that halfway point. With this season leaving the whole backstory of Hannah and moving on from that, I think they did a great job. It was a little odd not seeing Catherine Langford in the season. There are references to her. That was kind of refreshing. And then you also get some borderline cringy acting in this season because I think half of the season 
is borderline cringy and things that happen in the beginning of the season doesn't pay off at the end of the season which really bugged me because it's the same thing issue that I had with season two where they're building the where they're basically hyping this thing up and at the end you don't get a lot you get half of the story but you don't get the full thing because there is something that happens this whole season revolves around who killed Bryce Walker and and we do see flashbacks of everybody interacting with Bryce Walker seeing how they may have played a role in this and this is what I had a feeling what happened with this season is that they were going to be building this thing up of who killed Bryce and as more things come to life they start adding to it oh, there was a tangible moment where things happened and at the end of the season it didn't go anywhere and for those of you who have seen it you know what I mean and that really bugged me because that really bugged me about season two and halfway through the season I'm like okay at the end of season one we had something crazy happen at the end of season two we had something crazy happen so I'm guessing something crazy is going to happen at the end of season three and it did and I thought that was great but that was the main issue that I had with this season and it's the same one that I had the issue with in season two is this little thing that happens is ignored and nobody comes back to it and that really pissed me off because just like what they did with this cool shooting in season two but other than that I think this was a solid season yeah that one little I want to say is a plot hole because it is integrated in the se in the beginning of one of the episodes and that just really bugged me because I'm like okay but who did this we know how we got to from point A to point B but how do we get from point B to point C because as they find out clues of what happened to Bryce some of those clues get ignored and that really bugged me so but overall if you enjoy this show this show is going to be for you this season is going to be for you if you didn't enjoy the other ones or if you like the first one but hated the second one i think you can find some things in here that will redeem season two a little bit annoyed me what they did with bryce's characters in the flashbacks in this season but overall i think this is a solid season there are two surprising moments in this season that I didn't see coming so hopefully you guys got a chance to see 13 reasons why I want to grade this so I probably am I think I'm just going to give 13 reasons why a solid 6 out of 10 like I said this is a solid season if you enjoyed the last ones then you'll enjoy this one if you didn't you probably won't but Go ahead and let me know what you think about this season. Drop in the comment section and let me know what you enjoyed about it, what you didn't enjoy about it. And if you like this review and you haven't seen my other ones, go ahead and check those out and go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. So until next time, I might entirely just change the channel to Josie Reviews since I just basically review almost anything and give my thoughts on almost everything. So go ahead and drop down to the comments and let me know what you think of it. And until next time, hopefully you stick to my for the next reviews.